The information shown on Macomber Map comes from a variety of core systems, energy, market, modeling, outage, and several other systems in the control room. The Macomber Map pulls it together so that the operator can have situation awareness and understand where things are going and have better support to make the good decisions. We added a great many enhancements, uh, being able to show voltages, being able to show different types of generation and outages and uh, congestion and so forth. Typically, Southwest power pool operators and operators in this industry have been using the energy management system or some form of that type of application where they are responsible for managing the bulk electrical system through a bunch of tabular based displays with a huge list of all the generators or substations and lines and managing such a large system one page at a time can be very taxing and slow to respond to real-time events. Through tools like the Macomber map, we were able to aggregate data from a bunch of different displays and a bunch of different applications and give them a one-stop shop. As we grow our situation awareness tools, our error rates continue to decline. In other words, our operators are able to do more in less time with less risk. One of the benefits of open sourcing the map and building these kind of collaborations is that we find that different uh, parties need different things. And so every enhancement that they make that flows back to the open source community benefits everybody else. What we were trying to do was help the reliability and the resilience of the grid, not just here in Texas, but uh, anywhere that we could. And so to that end, um, we made the decision many years ago that we would release the Macomber map to the open source community. And we found that SPP and their incredible DevOps tool and incredible operators are working together to further enhance the map for their group. And as that happens, they're sharing back with us and the rest of the open source community those enhancements. When we first got the Macomber map from ERCOT, it already provided uh, numerous sets of features that were designed specifically for operators in the electrical field. However, SVP's business is a little bit different, and so we wanted to add additional features. And some of those that we've done is integrating it with our Flowgate Explorer application. This application allows operators to see lines that are loading up and reaching thermal limits. And with the Macomber map, they can now see those lines, both monitored contingent lines, and then also turn on generators to see which generators are impacting that flow gate in the surrounding area. And then call upon those generators to help reduce the, the congestions on those lines. Macomber map also brings a lot of information. If you drill down and search for a certain element, it will give you the uh, size of that element, the voltage, who owns that element, the contact number of that element. I'm kind of a weather geek, so I like the weather overlay. So you can actually see tornado warnings and where they're at within the footprint, uh, which elements, transmission elements or generation substations that could be affected by that current weather. Uh, it's very easy to use also, a lot easier than uh, our last map that we had. The collaboration with ERCOT has been spectacular. Mike Leggett has been a wonderful resource and partner in our implementation of the Macomber map.